What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Desert Illusions favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Fans Toys. I don't even remember the name of it was Phantasm. Does that sound right? It sounds right, right? I got good news for you. I'll have looked at the box before I edit this review, so the title will be right below the little screen you're looking at. You can double check for yourself. Actually, to be fair, sometimes I mess that up as well. But there's a good chance it's right. Take what you can get. You know what I mean? That being said, we are gonna look at this guy. I got him from Nick the Toy Guy. I highly recommend you do business with him, especially if you live on the East Coast, because shipping is gonna be the fastest you can get. His email will be in the description. Hit him up, tell him Scully sent you. So let's go ahead and get started. But in order to start, we got to start with accessories. So he comes with an alternate head, uh, very stoic face, much like the face we're going to look at when we get to the figure. The helmet is a bit more uh, angled off as opposed to the more kind of Egyptian pharaoh uh, look. You know, Deco's the same. We'll talk about that when we get to the figure. But, um, you know, it's thoughtful that they included it. He comes with two alternate faces, the I can't believe it's not Butterface and the uh, pain and agony face, uh, which is fine. Uh, we're going to talk a bit more, but I might end up using this just to give it some character. I'm not sure yet. Usually I don't go with the more extreme expressions, but uh, you'll see why. He comes with a rocket uh, with the chrome finish on it. Looks quite nice, sculpted well as well. So to attach this onto here, you just slide it on. Um, but it does like collapse for part of the transformation and it's kind of a, a there to get out I'm using my teeth right now um, But you're supposed to put that in that locks it, and then you can have it this and then it's extended um, But I I think it kind of becomes a bit overbearing So if you lift this up Then you can collapse it and then you can put that back down and I just think that that looks a lot I don't know to me. It looks a lot tighter And he comes with this rifle uh, you know, Deco's nice enough, and uh, at least it's painted, is I guess what I mean to say, and then it has the, some decent sculpted detail in it as well. He'll hold it just fine with the tab on the back of the handle um, kind of going into his palm. The weapon can be stowed in the back of the spoiler if you need it to um, with this tab that kind of goes in between there. Um, but it's a really tight fit. I'm not sure that they accounted for the paint, so just be mindful. So, like all Fans Toys products, it comes mistransformed out of box. In order to fix it, you turn the waist around 180. Uh, like we already talked about, you have to extend this. Um, there. God bless. Got it. And then put that back down if you prefer that look. And then this piece here has to extend. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm not crazy about this. So, there it is. But then you have this huge gap. What this does is it fills in the square so that it's perfectly square. Like all these other things on them that are perfectly square. But then you have this huge gap. For me, I prefer the kind of mistransformed look out of the box because it gives the arm a little bit more character for me and I'll take this shape with a sacrifice of, you know, knowing it has to transform over the hollowness. Hollowness drives me nuts, um, but that is how you do it to have the kind of proper um, configuration. And I think with that, we can go ahead and look at the figure. All right, let's look at the figure. We'll get in close on the head skull for Dennis. A uh, very bland head sculpt, uh, but it's done well. Most of the time, I like a very stoic head sculpt. I do feel like it's not as indicative of this character. I might go with a goofy smile. I'm not sure yet. Uh, that being said, the paint is beautiful. White paint on the face, metallic blue eyes, um, arguably a bit too dark, but they are there, and then the metallic blue helmet. The head is on a hinge swivel. This will get um, come on untransformed, so to speak, come undone like Duran Duran. But you can use the head to get up to there. Nothing really down. You do get the swivel. So ultimately, I'm okay with it. Moving on to the torso, uh, we have the light blue. Um, a lot of people misunderstood my criticism of the last one we looked at that was like this. I think it was a Legends figure. Uh, but this looks better to me. Uh, we have a ratcheted waist swivel. We have a lot of paint, white paint, white paint, this blue paint, blue paint, red paint. We'll back out a little bit and look at the arms. They are universals. You get 90 degrees, no, a little short of 90 degrees up and around. You have a bicep swivel 
However, at least mine on this side has a tendency to want to pull away slightly due to the train. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It's when I adjust this, it pulls on that hinge and pulls the, um, the arm a bit out. But to be fair, you don't really need it. Like as I've messed with it a bit more, you don't really need this to get out of the way a whole lot because the arm will swivel and it won't brush up against it there. But if you use the full extent of the elbow, you get past 90 degrees and that's where it becomes problem problematic is what I meant to say there not problem um, so then you got to move this as much as you can but even then and it's a problem with the design of the character right you can't really beat it and eventually the whole kind of joint comes undone so it's not really a criticism um, more of like a man I wish this worked better uh, so we talked about the biceps, so we talked about the hinge, which is a single hinge, but gets you a deeper bend. I'm okay with that. Um, wrist swivel, fingers on a base pin knuckle, and they are uh, all on the same piece there. So you get typewriter fingers. Um, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. And let's see. All right, moving on. Oh, we didn't talk about the deco. So the paint looks beautiful there. We'll talk about it a bit more when we get into car mode. Paint on the arms, forearms, biceps, everywhere. It's covered, smothered in it. Let's back out a bit. So we have hip skirts. Let's raise, raise them up like onyx. And you have universals for hips, not ratcheted, which is not my favorite, but gets you the full Van Dam. Forward and back to there. Thigh swivel, painted thighs. Uh, even the joints on the hips are painted. Like, just stuff I notice. And what else did I want to say? Oh, uh, screw coverings, which we don't always see with fans' toys. Um, but they're even covered, like, there on the back. You got to say something for that. All right, knees. You have a uh, what I call a boot swivel, and uh, it's usually redundant. But if you don't have an ankle swivel, which this doesn't have, it actually can come in handy, so I don't hate it here. Ratcheted single jointed knee gets you a deeper than 90 degree bend. Fully painted lower legs. Um, very, very plain. A lot of this figure is very, very plain. It's one of my um, one of my personal subjective gripes. You know, I like it when it has a little bit more going on. And then there he is from the back. But I haven't done the ankles yet, so I'll go ahead and do that. I got QC30. So no ankle tilt down. No ankle tilt up. You do get a rocker. Um, and it is a little limited. So not the best there as well. Real quick, uh, he does have a toe hinge. Not quite an ankle tilt, but a toe hinge that should be able to fake the funk to get the toe hinge up, the ankle tilt up, but not really down. And uh, yeah, that's it. Size comparison wise, there he is with side swipe. Hopefully that gives you somewhat of an idea. So, you know, pretty much the exact same size as the car bots. And I feel like side swipe kind of set the standard. And there he is next to the MMC, which we will do a versus of. Um, you know, I don't know. One obviously looks more like the cartoon. You know, it's interesting. There's a whole discussion here, right? But, like, you know, when you start adding him into it, like, if I was to say of these three, which doesn't belong, I think the answer is him. But I think a lot of people now don't prefer this aesthetic or that aesthetic. So it's like, I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting talking point, I think. But we will do a versus of these guys because this figure's still a beast. All right, let's get started. So we're going to do some spinning. Uh, I'm gonna, I think you can do this with the uh, rocket intact, uh, like keep it all together, but like who's got time for all that, you know what I mean? But let's go ahead and collapse this, if it wasn't collapsed already. Same thing with these, you know, collapse those if you haven't done that already. Um, and we'll spin the waist 180, I think, can we do that? Yes. And we'll spin the head 180. All right. And we're going to spin the biceps 90. And that should get us started. And actually, we're going to spin the hands 90 so that the opening of the fingers is towards the outside. And that should get us started. So we're going to open the backpack. We're going to open the chest or pull this away from the chest. I don't know why I'm struggling. Oh, because I got to do this. Okay. So open up this and this. And then all of this has to come loose, right? 
There we go. That comes up and over the head. And I may have just scratched the paint. And then this has a little tab on the inside. That comes down and hooks onto there to secure it. The wheels come around to the side. And then you just have uh, these side portions, right? So you can flip out that, those little sections there. And then for the arms, you want to open up, collapse them, and then swing them down towards the body so that the little indentation there goes right in the waist, right? Same on this side. And then swing it down so that all of this sits nice and flush up against there. And once again, like relatively painless, uh, you know what I forgot to do? Rotate this around into the inside. Now, when you have the, um, the what you call, the missile on there, the missile will go down into that little section. But like, you know, I don't need to prove anything to myself about that. I can leave it out. It's, I'm fine with it. There you go. For his lower body, it's a lot of like blow apart, come together. So turn the screw covers towards the inside. And then at your boot swivel, turn that back towards the outside on both sides. Now we have a whole lot to do. So there's these bits here. They come untabbed. And then the whole knee also comes untabbed. All right. And then these side portions, they pull out. And then you can rotate the tire to the outside. When I go back to robot mode, um, I might keep my tire on the outside. Just give it a little bit of character. Because I'm looking for this guy to have a little bit of character. A little bit more character anyway. All right, rotate that out. Then we have to get this panel here up on both sides. And then this entire section flips up and over. You can kind of see how all of that is going to sort itself out, I would imagine. And then down here on this side, you have to, um, their video instructions say to fold that piece in. And then you want to rotate the toes up. And then rotate them in. And then rotate them down. And then rotate your little panel back up. So same on this side. Panel in. Toes up. Rotate in, toes down, panel up, and then you can begin to rock this piece down and this piece down. And I'm going to make sure I got everything right before we try to fit it all together. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to make sure that all of our panels are open. And as we come up, this section is on a double hinge so rock that up the knee pad rotates down and the tab that we pulled out on the knee pad tabs into the back of the wheel take this piece and fold that over and then as we rotate up everything should tab in nicely. We'll, 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 we'll put big hands on it here in a minute. All right, same on the other side. All right. We're going to fold in our knee pad. Let 
make sure that our tab is sorted and fold this piece over and then use our double hinge up and tab everything in as we go there all right these pieces sandwich around the middle section there these pieces come down and fill out that the feet tab together we're going to squeeze that with the big hands and then we're going to rotate that up and i believe that that is it for the most part um, i'll get it cleaned up we'll take a look at it and there it is it rolls this comes through beautifully with the blue and white paint um, the chrome is a nice touch both on the wheels and the engine. I'm sure you can get this tighter if you mess with it a whole lot more. Nice white accent across there. Um, I wish it was a chrome uh, spoiler, but then I know people, I mean, not, not spoiler, whatever that is. Um, same for the back, but then I know people will be like, G1, and I get it. Um, rubber tires. You got the steering wheel in there. You know, I mean, I think it's effective. I actually, I wish these vents were silver also. Just little things that I think would have given it a bit more character, but they were trying to, like, really go for that cartoon accuracy, and I think it does it the overall presentation of something a bit of a disservice. It's just kind of a few examples. But, yeah, I mean, I think it, it does a really good job of what it's trying to do, and there it is next to Tiger Tracks. So, I mean, right on target. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. I wish there was more of an ankle rocker. It becomes like painfully obvious when you try to get them in the more extreme poses. Um, but I wish there was a lot more ankle rocker there. I wish the index finger was individually articulated. I wish there was ratchets in the hips. I wish there was an ab crunch. And I mean, that's really all I got. I guess in terms of the car mode, it would have been nice to have like an accessory of a driver to put in there, but I'd never use it anyway. But maybe for people that are like really into alt modes and stuff, that would mean something. I guess if I was going to nitpick one other thing, there's a little black piece that goes on the back of the seat in the alt mode and mine falls out constantly. In fact, I currently don't know where it's at and it happens during transformation so that's something worthwhile to point out moving on to positives for having a lot of single hinge joints you get a lot of deep bends out of both the elbows and the knees if they're going to continue with very simple articulation in terms of points i do appreciate the fact that they're getting deeper range of motion out of them that needs to be addressed and commended the deco on this figure is absolutely stunning every nook and cranny is painted to include a lot of the joints don't think it's lost on me it's not it's gorgeous it's striking the materials and plastics feel good it comes with the appropriate accessories and i do appreciate the different head sculpts for this one and i like that they added a lot of screw covers there's still a lot of like screws being shown in the inside of the forearms and stuff but the fact that they covered up a lot of them in the legs to include some on the back it's pretty nice and thoughtful and i appreciate it once again fans toys is proving that they're no longer the company that you can kind of make fun of they're like overly involved transformations that want to make you want to rip your hair out or in my case eyeballs this transformation is a breeze and it's only going to get easier as kind of some of the joints start to loosen and relax a bit i mean that's a huge improvement for this company over this year i mean almost everything that they've put out the transformations have been awesome that was not always the case as i'm sure most of you especially as old timers remember it needs to be commended and the alt mode looks good so what else is there really to gripe about you know my biggest issue with this guy is that you know going for that hyper tune look is it, a lot of times leaves stuff looking soulless and i just wish it had a little bit more soul in it but i know not everybody feels the same way and i get that as well that being said i hope that helps thanks for listening thanks for watching till next time take care